Hey guys, welcome back to another Albion online video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your horse so you can use a uh, tier 3 riding horse or ox and upgrade from the novice mule. Uh, there are three ways to do this, so let's get into it. So the first way for you to get a horse is to literally just buy one from the market. Uh, to buy one, you will have to come to mounts and it will come up with this, go to tier 3 and you have the ox or if you want a horse just type in horse to be able to ride these you do need to have each tier of these to be able to ride each tier so for the first one it's the tier three and then for tier four you get the stag plus the other two and then for tier five unlocks uh, a lot more so to be able to ride each tier of these uh, these mounts, you have to have the same tier unlocked in your main quest tree. The second way you can get a mount is to craft it yourself. To be able to craft it, you do need to have at least the harvester tab in the farming category. So you will be able to use the level three horse and ox. So what you want to do is come to the market, go to animal and the ox here is selling for 3,500. So you will need 30 planks to be able to craft this. You'll need tier 3 planks because it needs to be the same tier as the um, horse that you're making. So you can also do this with horses. So you just type in horse here and it's 7,900. But for horses you don't use planks, you use leather. So you need 20 leather to make a horse. Alright so we're here in Swamp Cross. The starting area for Thetford. Uh, it's the starting area, and every starting area has a saddler where you can Welcome. actually make horses and mounts. Um, every saddler is a tier 4, so you can actually make a stag here too in the rare mounts tab. You also can use a saddler on your personal island or if your guild island has a saddler. Uh, and you can also use a saddler in the city too, but of course you'll be charged a user's fee for that. So that is maybe up to you. So anyway, I come here. Actually, I go to my island because I have one in my island, but I'm going to come here anyway. Um, and so I'm just going to make the horse. And I'm going to make the ox. Uh, you get some fame. So I got an outstanding ox and a normal quality horse. And these were both cheaper than just buying them. So um, this is another way that you can get horses. So the last way to get a mount is to actually make them yourself. So what you need to do is you have to have an island that is at least level three. So you can have two farming plots. Uh, you need a farming plot so you can grow the food that you're going to feed your animals and a pasture to grow your animals. So what you want to do is you want to put your whatever horse or ox or whatever it is you want to grow, you put them in the pasture and then you have to feed them. So each animal takes 10 carrots or whatever it is that you want to feed them. So put in 10 and it will feed the animal. Um, there is a offspring yield of 84% for the level 3. If you nurture them you will get an extra offspring yield bonus so you nurture them and you got now you're on 104% so you're guaranteed a animal back so you can grow more and you can either buy them from this guy but I would not recommend that because 
this guy is really expensive and it's just cheaper to buy off players from the market and yeah that is the last way that you can make mounts in this game alright guys so that was how you can upgrade your horses uh, you can do that for any tier and I hope this video helped you if you want to see more uh, like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time Thanks for watching guys. Bye.